afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to West Home School. My name is Mr. Barnett. Hello, I'm Miss Thompson. Welcome back. So we are two of the PE teachers here at West Home School. We teach PE from all the way from preschool all the way up to year 13, along with the other wonderful members of our department. And we today are going to do a little bit of gymnastics, followed by, if you've been watching for the last few weeks, a bit of a yoga challenge towards the end. Miss Thompson's really good at that. I'm still learning. We're going to see how I get on, and hopefully you'll be as good as Miss Thompson. But before we do any form of exercise, obviously we need to warm ourselves up. So we're going to warm ourselves up today. It's nearly half term. We're feeling a little bit funny. So we're going to play the bean game. Now, before we get stuck into this, if you look up here in the top right hand side of your screen, you will see the hashtag West Home Workout. Use it, send some photos in. We would love to hear from you. So, ready for the bean game, Miss Thompson? I am very ready for the bean so, game. Very simple. Miss Thompson's going to call out some beans. I'm going to act those beans. I'm going to be those beans, okay? All you've got to do is copy me and we'll put some challenges in it as we go along. So, Miss Thompson, I am ready for your instruction. Here okay, we go. Okay, right. We're going to start with a chili bean. Ooh. So, chili boys and girls, look what I'm doing. Ooh, I'm being a chili bean. So, he's jogging on the spot, rubbing your arms. We're trying to get nice and warm. So, this is a chili bean. Okay, the next chili one we're going to do is a jumping bean. Jumping bean. Trying to get I can jump up okay. and down on the spot, or I can go around in a circle, a bit like a kangaroo, but a, a jumping bean. So we're bending our knees, and then we're taking off and bending again when we're landing. So jumping bean. Are you ready for the next one? Ready for the next one. And this one's nice and easy. I think you all know how to do this one already. It's runner bean. Oh, yeah. Runner. <laughs> runner. Oh, I can be the bolt bean. <laughs> so we're running. We can run round if we've got a space. If we've not got a space, you can run on the spot, that's absolutely fine. So that's our runner bean. The next one, this is a magic bean. Oh, I like this one, it's my favourite, you're going to enjoy this. Tiptoes, arms up, you can make a silly noise like me. <laughs> Sprinkle the fairy dust. That's it, now Mr Barnett's really balancing. So get as high as you can on your tiptoes and sprinkle that magic <laughs> Right, that's magic bean. Are you ready for the next one? Oh, yes. All right, it's French beans. Ooh la la. <laughs> I'll do that one again. Ooh la la. Very I'll do good. it one more that's time. Ooh la la. <laughs> that's been my favourite one. Right, so we've got those ones. The next one, we're going to have to get onto the floor because yep. this one is baked beans. Oh, my favourite. Ah. Oh. Beans on toes! Whoa. Shaking your arms, shaking your legs, oh. fighting for the space with all those other beans on top of the bread. <laughs> that's it, that's beans on toes. Okay, so, are you ready, Mr. Barnett? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play the game. Oh. Now, you should see the beans. Oh. Let's start on our feet. Okay. On our feet, I'm going to call a bean, and you have to act like that bean oh. as fast as you can. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Here we go. Yep. French beans! Ooh la la! Ooh la la! Baked beans! Baked beans! Oh, oh. Okay, now here's the challenge. Can you beat Mr. Barnet? Are we ready? Jumping beans! Oh, did you manage to get to your feet before me? I hope so, because that's the challenge. Whenever we're on our backs on the floor, get to your feet before me. Okay, so we should be jumping. Let's swap to... Run a bean! Oh, run a bean, run a bean, run a bean. Run a bean, run a bean, run a bean. Chili bean! Beans on toast! So, can you get to your feet before me in the next one? It's gonna be magic beans! Woo! Balancing? Oh, I'm balancing. <laughs> okay. French beans! Ooh la la! Ooh la la! Ooh la la! Jumping bean! Jumping bean! 
Feet me. Oh, my favourite. So, can you get to your feet before me? Here we go. Can you beat Mr Barnet? Am I going to say it? What am I going to say? Feet me. Oh, 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 no. Oh, I hope they didn't beat me. Ooh, la, la. Ooh, la, la. Ooh, la, la. Beat the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's on the top. Run a bean! Oh, run a bean! Did you beat me to your feet? Oh, run a bean! I'll ask you where Mr. Barnett. What about this one? What about bean. jumping beans? Jumping beans! Jumping beans! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Beans on toast. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love beans on toast. Is it nearly lunchtime? Nearly. Oh, beans on toast for lunch. Should we have a bit of rest? Let's have baked beans. Ah. Having a chill. Ah. We're gonna have three more. Are we ready? Magic beans! Oh, magic beans! Woo! Oh, I'm balanced. Oh, I'm falling over. I'm balanced now. Chili beans! Last one. Jumping beans! Jumping beans! Brilliant. Well done, Mr. Barnett, and well done everybody at home who joins in. Fantastic work. Yeah. So what Miss Thompson said there is joining in. That's all we ask. Join in. Doesn't matter whether you're as fast as I am, you're all right, or you're as slow as I am, no like. Doesn't really matter. Join in. Have some fun now. Miss Thompson, I'm just being told over here we've got our first shout out of the day. This is to Chloe in Rishton. Chloe and Riston, thank you very much for watching. Join in. Well done, you. And so, for using the hashtag. And well. for using the hashtag. Brilliant. And remember, it's up there in the corner if you want to send us in a tweet. Okay. Oh, right. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, right. continuity error. So, Miss Thompson is now going to take you through some gymnastics. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to go and sit on the stage there so I don't get in her way. So, let's see what Miss Thompson has got in store for us today. Okay. So, if you've been following along, go for you will know that we've been doing balancing and travelling. We've looked at forward rolls and backward rolls. We've looked at them with a jump or a step in. This week, we're going to look at balancing in a shoulder balance. Okay? And we're going to think about transferring our weight either forwards or backwards. Okay? So a forwards transfer of weight is very simple. We're moving our body forwards. Okay? So we can balance. We could step, it doesn't matter, okay? We could also transfer our body weight backwards. Ooh, so we could trickier. step and balance, we could just step, we could slide if we're on the floor, so we could slide backwards like this. But we're transferring our body weight, we're moving it from one place to another, okay? So we are going to do this from a shoulder stand. Now, some of you might have tried this at home before, but we're working on quite a soft surface here. We've got our mats. Yep, and not really soft, as I've just found out when I was doing beans on toast, very soft. Exactly. So, if you're at home and you're working on a floor that's a little bit hard, now is the chance to go and get a blanket, um, maybe the duvet off your bed, just to soften the floor to make sure that we're nice and safe. Okay? Whilst you're doing that, I'm going to show you how to do a shoulder balance. Ooh, okay. Shoulder balance. Now, I'm going to put my t-shirt in, so here we go. So, we're doing our shoulder balance. We're starting on the floor in this position, and it's a little bit like a backwards roll, okay? We're going to go onto our back like this, and then we're going to lift our legs into the air. Now, you'll notice that my feet are quite far over. Where should they be? What do you reckon? Well, Miss Thompson, I don't think they should be all the way back there. Maybe... We should be pointing them up. That's a good idea. Remember, gymnastics is all about looking good, isn't it? So let's try and point our toes and lift our hips and our legs and our feet as high as possible. So from this position here, we want to lift as high as we can. My hands so. are under my back. That looks very good. Nice pointed toes, Ooh. legs straight up. Knees are not bent, are they, boys and girls? So here's our first challenge, boys and girls. Can you get into this position? That Miss Thompson is. Can you get your legs pointing up as high as they can do? Okay. Well done. So, you practice that at home. 
Try and get those hips up. Try and get those legs nice and straight. But also, try and use your tummy muscles. Engage your core. Squeeze everything nice and tight and get it nice and high. Miss Thompson, just for those boys and girls at home who are thinking, oh, I'm a bit... Concern about that. Could you just show us again of really slowly? Now pay attention to where my hands are, okay? Because these are really important with helping us to, to do this balance properly. Okay? So from here. You see where Miss Thompson's hands are? Supporting her back there. She's got her legs up, toes pointed. Look at her knees. Her knees are not bent, are they? Not like this. They're not like that. So nice and up there. And look, she's looking up at her toes, making certain that they're pointed straight up. Well done, Miss Thompson. Thank and you. well done, boys and girls at home, if you are giving that a go. If you've got an adult there, can take a photo of you, send it in on the hashtag that's up here in the top right-hand corner. We would love to see it. Hashtag West Ham Workout. Okay, now this time, because I said at the start, we're going to think about transferring our weight. And we can go forwards, or we can go backwards, I wonder how we could do that from a shoulder stand. What do we think? So I want to try and go forwards first. So how could we transfer our weight forwards while from being on our shoulders? It's a tricky question. Maybe, Miss Thompson, you're going to have to show us. <laughs> the boys and girls can't, can't answer it. I know, the moment, can I know they? they cannot. However, we are going to use a word that we've used before and it's momentum. So yeah. let's think about this word. So I'm here. This is my starting position. I'm going to lift up high, and then I'm going to use momentum to transfer my weight. So I'm going to bring my knees down, and then I'm going to rock forwards as fast as I can. So here, rock, whoop, stand. Okay. That looked awesome, Miss Thompson. So is that word momentum, momentum again? Momentum. That's what we need. We Gathering need momentum. Momentum into it. I like it a lot. Shall we try that one again? Okay, can, so, can we try that one again? So, absolutely can. Now, let's try and think about our finishing positions that we did a few weeks ago. Keeping our legs together, finishing nice and together, trying not to step. Obviously, we can step if we need to, but we're trying to minimise that as much as possible. So, let's go from our shoulder stand, and we're going to transfer our weight. Are we ready? So, from our shoulder stand, are we ready? Transfer! Wow. Lovely. So you've gone with your body weight leaning slightly backwards there in the shoulder yeah. stand. You've brought it forwards and used that weight transference to get to your feet quickly. Wow. That was wow. great, Miss Thompson. I like that. So we're thinking about moving from one place to another. We've gone forwards. Now, let's think about going backwards. Ooh, that sounds tricky. It is, it is. It's a bit tricky, actually. Yeah. Is it? Okay. So we're going to go into our shoulder stand. We're going to lift nice and high, but then we're going to use lots and lots of control. So watch me first, and then you can try it at home. So let's watch, watch Miss Thompson, boys okay. and girls. So we're in our shoulder stand nice and high. I'm going to slowly bring my legs down over the top and then roll. Okay? Did you see how much control I used then? I was really, really... Oh, nice and slow, wasn't it? I didn't do it fast, and I kept my knees and my feet together over one shoulder. Okay, well, let's try Ms. again. Ms. Thompson, can you just repeat that? You kept your knees and feet where? Over one shoulder. Ah, okay, so, so I'm not going, going to the sides. Yeah, I'm not going straight girls. like this. I've got my head between my knees. My knees are together, and they're on one side of my body. Okay, because we don't want to move our head. And that's the key to it, isn't it, Miss Thompson? It's getting your knees coming over one shoulder so you don't bonk yourself in the nose. <laughs> it really is. Okay, shall we try again then? So, at home you can keep practising. So keep going, and then we're going to keep practising on the screen as well. So shoulder stand, nice and high. Slowly bringing my legs down over one shoulder and finishing in a kneeling position. If you want to make it harder... Remember, you can finish on your feet. So we could bring our knees down, roll over, and then finish standing. Should we try that this time? Mm. Okay, so from this position here, shoulder stand, knees down slowly, roll, and stand. That looked excellent, Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson, I think one of the key points there is when you bring your knees, they come down slowly, mm. so you stay in control, so that you can put them over one shoulder or the other, yeah. can't you? If we rush that, if we rush that transfer, well, we might end up doing it wrong. We might end up hurting ourselves. But also, 
Gymnastics is about being able to control our body, isn't it? And if we can do things slowly with lots of control, that's going to make us better. Okay, so we're going to try it again. We're going to do one more shoulder stand into that control, finishing on our feet or on our knees, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to try and put them into a bit of a, a bit of a routine. Oh no, I'll set the challenge and then we'll do a routine. Okay, so one more. So remember, boys and girls, if you're finding it easy finishing on your knees, challenge yourself. Try and get up onto your feet. Uh, Miss Thompson, are you going to do the getting up onto your feet one? I am. Okay, so try and copy what Miss Thompson okay, does here. Okay, so from here, slowly keeping our knees in Nice together. control, Miss Thompson. Roll and stand. Well done. Well Thank done. you. Right, now let's make it a bit fancy, shall we? Oh, I like fancy things. I like fancy too. Now let's make it fancy because... You might be able to do this at home. You might have done these before and you're thinking, Miss Thompson, Mr. Barnett, easy peasy. Okay? So, here's your challenge. If you're still learning, absolutely fine. But if you want a challenge, let's make our legs do something fancy, okay? So, we're going to get into our shoulder stand, like this, nice and high. And then we can either go out, keep it nice and straight, one forwards, one backwards. And you're keeping your knees straight all the time, aren't you? Your legs yeah. straight. We're not bending our knees, boys and girls. And then I'm the choosing end. which direction. So whether I want to transfer my weight forwards or transfer my weight backwards. But you can think about trying to keep your body, your hips tucked back, your toes pointed, nice and straight the whole way through. Okay? Right, let's try one more now that I've set you that challenge. So keep practicing at home. I'll keep practicing as well. You can always get better. No matter how good you think you are, there's always room for improvement. So, from here, nothing fancy. I think this will be more impressive because I'm slightly more flexible, but never mind. A bit more flexible than me, Miss Thompson. <laughs> and okay. up we go. Now, boys and girls, you might be watching at home and you might be thinking, wow, there's no way I can do that. Well, you don't know if you don't try, do you? So give it a go. Because here at West Home, what all we ask of our students is that you try, you give it a go. It doesn't matter whether we succeed or fail at first. What matters is we give it a go, because actually by giving it a go, A, you'll probably find that you quite enjoy it, and B, you will succeed if you try. Absolutely. Right. There's no succeeding if we don't give it a go, is there? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to do it together now. So from standing, like this, we're going to go into... Yes, and then a shoulder stand. So we did shoulder, we did forward rolls last week. So remember, you can do a forward roll from standing or from kneeling. Okay, depending on which one you want. We're going to do a forward roll. Then we're going to stand up. Then we're going to go into a backward shoulder stand, into a backward roll, and then stand up again. See, that sounds complicated, Miss Thompson. Can you show us how to do it? I can, absolutely. Okay. Right. So let's go for it. I'll do it first, then you can practice at home. So we'll go from here or here. Forward roll, standing, backwards shoulder stand, something fancy if you want, backwards roll, standing. Oh, so actually that's quite simple really. So forward roll to our feet, back down, shoulder stand, shoulder stand into the backwards roll that Miss Thompson's been practicing, and then if you can finish on your feet, or on your knees in that stable, balanced position. Now you can put these actions into lots of different orders. For example, you could do a shoulder stand, transfer your weight forwards, and then do a forward roll. It's up to you, so should we try that? So we can play around with it. So you can play around with it. There's no set order, there's no right way or wrong way of putting them all together. We're just looking for it to be nice and flowy. Is flowy a word? Flowy. Flowing. Flowing. It's probably a better way of saying it, isn't it? Okay, so shoulder stand, transfer our weight forwards into a forward roll. Right. Okay, I might have to go this way a bit, so I don't disappear. Okay, so shoulder, <laughs> shoulder stand, nice and high, transfer our weight, forward roll, and then we could rock backwards back into a shoulder stand, and a backwards roll. Woo! 
That looked very impressive, Miss Thompson. And you know, boys and girls, we would love to see your efforts at this. If you could take a short video, upload it onto the socials, or just hashtag a photo, that's absolutely great. We would love to see a hashtag up here in the top right hand corner. That's it. And keep practicing as well, because these things will get better the more that we do them. Okay, so keep practicing. If you get a few minutes at home, give it a go. Also, remember, whilst we're giving things a go, make sure you get outside as well. It's oh, going to love the week this week, isn't it? So go get some fresh air as well if you get a few minutes. Now, Mr. Violet, do you want to join the video? Before? I would love to. Should we see, boys and girls, if I've improved, or more importantly, should we see if you've improved, those of you who've been following for the last few weeks? If you haven't, don't panic. You can start at this point here. Miss Thompson, she's brilliant at it. Me, not quite so much. So copy what she's doing. Try not to laugh too hard at me. All right, here we go. Okay, so the aim of this yoga challenge is balancing. Okay, we're going to do lots of different movements. So I'm going to move our legs around to the side, forwards and backwards. But we want you to try and maintain your balance on one foot. So the foot that's moving isn't touching the floor at all. Mm. Now, obviously, it's a challenge. So if we've not got to that point yet where we can do the whole routine balancing, it doesn't matter if our foot touches the floor at any point. That's okay, as long as we lift our foot back up again mm. and carry on, because it's the carrying on and doing it even when we don't feel like actually we need to get better that's going to make the difference, isn't that's it, Mr. Barnett? So which leg are we starting with, Miss Thompson? Okay, we're going to start by balancing on our left leg. Left leg, right. Okay. Ready when you are. Right. So we're going to take two big deep breaths. This is going to help us center ourselves and ground ourselves in the moment, so we're not thinking about the things that are worrying us. We're not losing track of what homework we've got to do or anything like that. We're thinking about being here and now and feeling all of our muscles. Maybe they might be need to move or adjust to help us balance, but we're listening to our body. Okay? Mm. Right. Left leg first. Are we ready? Two big, deep breaths. So again, you breathe in. And out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, finding our balance on one leg. One hand up, one hand down. Lovely. Now we're going to hold this position for a bit, finding our balance, keeping our tummies tight, listening to our body, feeling our muscles. Good. Now, are we ready? Arms wide. Keeping that balance. Opposite. Hands together. Now we're going to do something fancy. We're going to twist our hands and then we're going to move our leg to the next position. So toes pointing out to the side. That's it. Hold it in. Finding our balance. Good, hands wide. Hard work, we should feel our leg aching a little bit now. Oh, I certainly am, Miss Thompson. Opposite hand up. Hands together. Are we ready? Fancy twist. I like the fancy And move twist. into our next position. So the next position is our knee in front of us, a 90 degree bend at our hip and our knee. Holding our balance. Oh, I'm struggling, Miss Thompson. Don't worry, keep focusing, Mr. Barnett. All Listen right. to your body. Hold your tummy nice and tight. Okay, arms wide. Good. Opposite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keeping that balance. Hands together. Are we ready for a fancy twist and a move? So, twist. And move. So our leg is behind us this time. Pointing those toes if we can. One hand up, one hand down. Nice and straight, nice and controlled. Lovely. Right, arms out wide. Opposite arm up. Keeping the balance. Good. Let's hold it. Hands together. 
to see if we can hold this position for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Twist back to standing. <laughs> oh, I thought that 10 seconds was never going to end, Miss Thompson. Now, our legs oh. have been feeling a little bit tired from that. Certainly is, yeah. Because our oh. leg has been doing lots of kind of twitching, hasn't it? It's been trying to keep our balance. So let's give our leg a good shake now. And now this time we're going to swap legs. We're going to do our breaths again. And this time we're going to balance on our other leg. Same rotation of our movements, but different legs. All right. Are we ready? Ready when you are. Okay. Two big deep breaths. Are we ready? Breathe in. And out. In. And out. Okay. Finding our balance. Lovely. So engaging those core muscles, engaging the tummy. That's it. Hands nice and straight. Find that balance. You can find something to focus on. Find a spot. Arms out wide. That's it. Good. Opposite hand up. Very nice, Mr. Barnett. Well done. I'm feeling a bit like the leaning tower of Pisa here. <laughs> Hands together. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. Oh, don't oh, worry, dear. we're both off our balance then, don't worry. Okay, twist. And leg out to the side. So you'll notice that me and Mr. Barnett both lost our balance then. We touched our foot down and then we lifted it back up and carried on. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Hands wide. That's it. Trying to get our shoulders nice and flat. Fingers pointing out to the sides. Opposite hand up. Very good. Okay, bring those hands together. Holding that balance, we should feel a little bit of an ache now. Yeah. Twist and move. So we're bringing our leg up in front of us, 90 degrees at the hip and at your knee. Very nice. Relax your shoulders. Okay, hands wide. Those shoulders down, keep your tummies engaged. Opposite hand up. That's it, and ready, hands together. Our final movement, we're going to twist and then point our leg back. Ready, twist and move. Very good. It's a tricky one, that one. Keep that balance. Hands up high. Okay, arms wide, shoulders down, opposite hand up, hands together, and we're going to balance for 10 seconds, are we ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Twist and stand and shake that leg. I'm afraid I didn't manage those <laughs> 10 seconds. I had to put my foot down there. I have to say, I think I'm a bit better at balancing on my left leg than I am on my right leg. Oh, really? Because mm. I feel like, uh, yeah, do you know, I agree. Actually, I'm yeah, even though I'm right yeah. So, boys and girls, hopefully you were as brilliant as Miss Thompson was there. Um, but if you're a bit like me and still struggling through some aspects of that, don't panic because I reckon, having been doing that for a few weeks now, I reckon I've improved and I take a huge amount of personal satisfaction out of that. And that is what a lot of physical activity is about. It's just about you as an individual improving in whatever you do. So if you joined in on that, really, really well done, boys and girls. Okay, so it is half term next week. We hope you have a really nice break. And we will see you again after half term with some 
We certainly will do. It's been lovely spending some time with you today, boys and girls. Try all those things. Remember, this will be on our YouTube channel if you want to re-watch it or any of the other ones and have a go at them at any other time. So get onto our YouTube channel. Just type in West Home School into YouTube if you want to re-find any of these things. Use the hashtag. We would love to hear from you. So it's very, very goodbye from me. See you soon. We'll have a nice half-term. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye.